Hello and welcome to Optometry Rails. Today we are going to discuss about the lacrimal apparatus which is important for the drainage of the tear film. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get the notification of all my upcoming videos. One of the major part of this lacrimal apparatus is the lacrimal gland which is situated in the frontotemporal area of the eye behind the frontal bone in the lacrimal fossa. The secretion of this gland is the watery part of the tear film. As we know tear film has a three different layer. On the top we have a lipid layer, at the below we have a mucin layer. In between two we have a watery layer which is also known as aqueous layer. This is secreted by the lacrimal gland. The tears from the lacrimal gland enters the lacrimal duct and nourishes, provides nutrition and oxygen to the ocular surface and reaches the one of the important part of the apparatus which is punctum. There are two punctum, one at the superior and other is the inferior, together they are known as puncta. The punctum is the opening of a duct which is known as a canaliculus. There are two canaliculus, superior and inferior and together they form a common canaliculus. At the common canaliculus, we have a valve called valve of Rosenmuller which prevents the reflex of the tears back to the puncta. After common canaliculi, there is a reservoir which is called lacrimal sac. From the lacrimal sac, the tears flow down to the tube-like structure which is known as a nasolacrimal duct. And at the nasolacrimal duct, there is again a valve which is called valve of Hasner. And through the valve of Hasner, the tears flow down to the inferior meters of the nose. So friends, Lacrimal apparatus is important for the tear drainage. The tears form at the lacrimal gland, enters to the lacrimal duct through the conjunctival sac, enters into the puncta from the canaliculi, reaches to the common canaliculi, and then enters to the lacrimal sac. From the lacrimal sac, it reaches the nasolacrimal duct and enters into the inferior meters of the nose. Hope this video was useful and informative to you. Please like, share, and subscribe the channel.